Chelsea have been nothing short of sensational in the transfer market. Led by super negotiator Maria Granovskaya, backed up by club legend Petr Cech and financed by one of the most wealthy but certainly the most passionate owners in Roman Abramovich. This window, Chelsea have pulled off some of the most intelligent signings ever recorded in a single transfer window. The transfer window system was introduced in 2002 and arguably this is the first time in its history that a team could claim being king of the window with over two months left. The acquisition of top talents and intelligent signings bring with them the extra burden of expectations. In this era where fans believe trophies and titles could be won or lost in the transfer market, it's fair to ask the question, what will be considered a success for Frank Lampard in his second season at Chelsea? No doubt about it. The business that Chelsea have been doing this summer will only intensify the spotlight on Frank Lampard and make life at Stamford Bridge a little hot on the collar for the club legend. Not that his intensity in games suggest that he's not hot on the collar already. Blues legend arrived in Stamford Bridge last summer and was handed a free hit by Roman Abramovich. Went to the fact that there were a number of factors at Chelsea which could have gone against Super Frank. The obvious ones were the departure of Eden Hazard and the ability for Chelsea to not participate in the transfer market. Consequently, there was emphasis on embedding a number of youth players into the first team. This wasn't just a credit to Chelsea last season and you imagine will pay them in good stead in future. However, Abramovich is unlikely to remain too patient and would like to see progression year on year, cumulating in titles and major honours arriving in SW6 in the not too distant future. In actual fact, the transfer business this summer will mean that the Blues should be expected to remain in the hunt for all the major honours again this season. Their transfer activity this summer has been so inspiring that it's led to a number of punters heading to the bookmakers and placing early wages on Chelsea's chances in lifting one of the major trophies this season. Ross Lampard had numerous problems to navigate in his first season as manager. I think it's fair to say top four finished and an appearance in the FA Cup final is a pretty good return considering the fact that many commentators at the beginning of last season expected Chelsea to struggle. The defence and in particular Kepa Arisa Balaga must have certainly given Frank Lampard and his backroom staff restless nights as they failed to find consistency but things ultimately exploded up front as Christian Pulisic with Willian and Olivier Giroud were nothing short of excellence as the Blues stormed to claim that top four spot. Mentioned earlier, Abramovich is one of the most passionate owners in the Premier League and will certainly not just be happy for Chelsea qualifying for the Champions League every season and coming second in competitions. Let's remember, this is a man who has sacked the managers for finishing second in the Premier League and having won things in that season. Lampard might be a hero around SW6 and might be bleeding Chelsea through and through, but success will be demanded and a no prisoner approach will be taken as the young boss will be handed a slew of world class weapons to his arsenal. Timo Werner has already added firepower, whereas the likes of Hakim Ziyech and more recently Thiago Silva, Ben Chilwell, and the big one. Kai Havertz. Chelsea are not quite done in this transfer window and as new world-class players continue to arrive in Stamford Bridge, well, let's just say the expectation is going to go through the roof and it's going to end up somewhere in outer space. So, back to the question, what will Lampard have to achieve in order to make his second one at Stamford Bridge a successful one? Well, indeed, with the financial backing which has been provided by Roman, a successful year for Lampard will have to be a trophy of significance, one such as the Premier League title or the Champions League, as he managed to achieve a place in the top four as well as a final showdown in the FA Cup final without any expenditure. If Abramovich is feeling kind, however, and really wants what's best for Lampard and Chelsea, he should probably be settling just for a top four finish 
and a trophy of less significance. Consistency is never purchased, but rather achieved over time. I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments. What does Chelsea have to achieve for Frank Lampard's season to be considered a success? And whilst you're down there, which Chelsea signing of this summer do you think is the most intelligent one? Consider subscribing if you enjoyed, like, share and comment, and as always, until next time.